The trade fair and exhibit opened this week at Havana's Rancho Boyeros exhibit grounds with the participation of some 25 global companies from this region and Europe. In opening remarks for the event, Deputy Foreign Trade and Investment Minister Ana Gonzalez said Cuba is looking to make up for its current low levels of agricultural production brought down by severe drought, natural phenomena and stiffened U.S. sanctions. Cuban Agriculture Minister Idael Perez toured the stands of state and private Cuban companies accompanied by his visiting Bolivian counterpart Remy Gonzalez. The annual fair aims to attract foreign investors and suppliers of goods to the island while showcasing Cuba's potential for trade and investment in the ranching and agriculture sectors. Victoria de Giron, founded in 1967, is one of Cuba's major state agriculture companies promoting its products and services at the fair. This fair allows us to enhance our links with other companies and joint ventures to increase our contribution to the country's food production, which is the major challenge facing Cuban agriculture to guarantee food sovereignty. Oscar Fernandez owns a private business specializing in hydrated food, which has succeeded in the local market and looks forward to increasing exports. We already have an Italian partner who imports our products. We are also meeting growing demand from different countries as well, and we are hoping to export to the U.S. market in the near future. Foreign companies play a big part in this fair. This one from Armenia brought a varied sample of products and services, while the Netherlands is represented by Blue Ocean, a big racing joint venture with the Cuban private business. So there, there will be production of pigs uh, on a commercial way and also uh, slaughtering the pigs on their own premises, then packing the pigs, the, the meat, sorry, packing the meat on their own premises and selling the meat to the population in Santiago de Cuba. For the general public, there were livestock exhibits and opportunities to watch live animal auctions and perhaps the most colorful highlight, a traditional rodeo put on by some of Cuba's most skilled local ranchers. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.